Don't get it twisted, people. Exporting videos is not the same as saving videos. Get it right. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today we're going to be making a tutorial on exporting videos using Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. So let's jump right into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to get down with the new export interface. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Pinnacle Studio Pro to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. As you can see, I have some video clips down in my timeline, and I'm just going to jump right into it by clicking on the export button. Clicking on the export button allows me to save the video in a format that it can be viewed outside of Pinnacle Studio. Now, the export interface is new and improved. Just look at it. If you've seen it before on a different version, look at this. Silk, sultry, and it looks so good. Makes me hot for editing. First thing you need to do is select whether you want to export your movie to a file, which can be saved to a computer and transported over to a flash drive or whatever. Disc later on. You can watch it on your TV, on your computer. Very flexible, all right? Or you can export it to a disc. So if you want to watch it later on a disc player like a DVD or Blu-ray, that's what you would choose. I'm going to select file. Now you need to select where the file will go. So I have the destination on here right now. If I click on this little file destination button, then it's going to let me pick a place on my computer that is going to save the video file. I'm just going to pick desktop right now. And I'll go ahead and click on save. And the next thing I need to do is I need to give my movie a name. I don't want it to be called my movie. Okay. I'm going to make this called angry. Well, let's call it hangry people. Because these people is hangry, hungry and angry. Okay. Now, next thing I need to do is select what I want to happen after the export is finished. So if I click on this little carrot here, it's going to say, what do you want to do? Sound an alarm, shut down your PC, open it in Windows Explorer, uh, add an exported file to your library in Pinnacle Studio. I wanted to just open a new file explorer window, so I'm going to select that option. And I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. So the next thing I have on here is to choose whether I want to have the settings be the same as the timeline. So instead of going through and choosing the format, the resolution, all that stuff, I can just click on same as timeline. If I click on same as timeline, you see that format and preset grayed out. I can't even select them anymore. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to use the same resolution and a file format that is best for what's in my timeline. So you can see here that the description is a MPEG-4 file, right? My timeline resolution is 1080p. I'm good to go there. Now, I'm going to uncheck this because I want to have access to the other options so I can show you what's going down. So if you decide not to do the same as timeline option, then here you have a drop down which lets you select between the format, which is the file format, the extension, which is the file extension, and then you can choose device or a website or online option. So if you choose format, you have a bunch of different file formats that you can choose from on here. If you choose extension, then you have to pick your extension, which is really the file container. And then you have to choose your codec or compression after that. So if I choose um, 
MP4, then I can choose H.264 or MPEG-4. If I choose MPEG, then I can choose between MPEG-2 or MPEG-1. Um, so basically you get your several options that you could choose from for your extensions. After that, you have device. If you choose device, you can choose from several different devices, manufacturers, all that good stuff. And then you have web. And if you select web, then you can choose from YouTube, Box, Facebook, or Vimeo. I'm going to go back to format because that's what I want to do. Okay? Hope you like that. All right, so now that I picked a format, I need to pick a preset here for my resolution. So I could choose a small, very small, medium, full size, 720p, 1080p, Ultra HD, or custom. I'm going to choose 1080p. And now you see that these options below it are all locked in. Let's say I wanted to customize it and change the resolution then I can choose this button here, which will let me go into advanced options. And when I do, the preset went back to custom. And now I can choose the resolution. I can choose from a drop down, or I can manually type in the resolution that I want. I can choose the interlace or progressive. I can choose my frame rate. And then I could choose the peak bit rate. So this is cool because I can go like all the way up to a hundred megabits per second. So that's cray cray, right? So high quality. Of course, your file is going to be bigger, but quality is going to be way up there. I can also choose the sample rate of my audio. I could choose the channel, stereo, or mono. I can choose a sample size and I can choose the bit rate of my audio as well. And then lastly, I can choose to re-encode the entire movie um, and I can choose pre-processing here, automatic or no pre-processing or render completely before export. Now once you're done doing all the customization that you want, you can actually save it so you don't have to create and go through and customize it all over again. So if you wanted to save it, you just click on this little save icon and it'll let you name your export that you create and it'll be a preset that's available for you under the format option or I'm sorry, under the preset option. So pretty cool. Now, if you only want to export part of the movie, you can actually move your playhead to a position that you want. Let's say, hey, I just want it right there. And then I can click on this mark in button. And then I can move my playhead to a position where I want it to end. Let's say it's just right here where he's like that. I could click the mark out button. And now it'll only export the area between the mark in and the mark out button. So if I were to hit start export, it would only do that small portion of the timeline. I don't want to just export that piece. So I'm going to click on this button here. This is to clear the mark in and mark outs. And now you see that they've gone to the beginning and the end. So I'm going to actually export the whole video now. So once you're done and you've picked all your stuff, all you need to do now is click on Start Export. And then it opened this window that allows me to go to the Explorer window to view it or to watch it in the Windows Media Player or to watch it in the QuickTime Player. And then you can't see my other monitor, so I'm just going to pull this over. Under the after export options, I selected 
to open it in Windows Explorer. And so it opened it, and here you go. It's called Hangry People. It's on my desktop with all my other jambalaya of mess. So we're good to go. Just pull this up and play it. Beautiful. Exporting and saving your videos in Pinnacle Studio 21 Ultimate. It's so easy. Hi, right, Pinnacle Studio peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Kentucky Ranger. Kentucky Ranger makes dollar store and snack crate videos on his YouTube channel. So, if you're into checking out what's going on in the dollar stores or what's coming in that next snack crate, make sure that you head on over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Kentucky Ranger did, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out the shout out request form. If you got a tutorial that you'd like us to make, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click on the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.